This is a presentation on the new features within AlphaCam 2016 R1. This presentation will deal with a new command, 2D Transform. 2D Transform is a new command that is a geometry modification tool and is actually a combination of four existing commands. Those commands are the Move, Rotate, Stretch, and scale. So the commands still exist in their individual form but the 2D transform combines them and it can also be used in conjunction with the new command file inserter within AlphaCam 2016R1 that we'll look at in a later presentation. So let's go look at that feature now within AlphaCam 2016R1. So let's create some geometry on screen that we can manipulate. Okay, so if we go to the edit ribbon, then we can see we have all of our conventional commands, but we don't have any 2D transform command. So let's go and customize the ribbon, and we can see we now have this new option here, new commands not in the ribbon. This is for obviously customers that have updated, and it's a new command compared to the previous version, so we've just isolated it out. Obviously we still have all the other options itemized out, commands not in ribbon it will appear in there as well but this is just to make it easier for customers that have updated to see the new features that we've added in. So it makes sense to me to add this to the edit tab and to the move copy group. So let's add 2D transform to that and I want this at the top of the list so it appears at the start of my group here. So let's close that now and let's pick the command let's select my geometries and we can see we get these grippers so I'm able to click on this middle gripper here and this will if I just drag will give me a move command or I can click on it and let go and I can then type in the coordinates that I want that to move to so I can also click on the end grippers or the top and bottom grippers and I then get a stretch command. This now will distort the aspect ratio of the component. Or I can click on the top corner or the bottom corner grippers and now I get a scale. It is now maintaining the aspect ratio. And I can also once again click on one of these and type in a coordinate that I want it to move to. That will give me a stretch if I type in the coordinates. If I click on this gripper here at the top this now gives me my rotate. I can go for a dynamic rotate and we get to see the angle appearing on the cursor or I can click on it and type in a value that I want it to move to. So I could say a fixed value of 45 degrees. The good thing now with the latest version, these grippers are available in the isometric view as well. Previous versions, if we'd gone to isometric, we don't get to see the grippers. And we still can obviously use the command in this position. So I'm now going to just use these with a conjunction with some geometry that I've already created. And I'm going to create myself a rectangle and I'm going to go from 0, 0 to 300, 200 and I'm just going to adjust the scale on this a little bit so let's go pick my 2D transform command pick my geometries let's adjust the scale and we could stretch these slightly and I'm now going to move them and I can now use my snaps as well to a point or if I want this in the middle position let's go create a bit more geometry so if I go to geometry construction line and let's go from the end point here to the end point here and pick our 2D transform again Click on the grippers, let's go put them in the midpoint of this line here and now what else I can do with the line is I can activate my rotate command and then go pick a snap so I'm going to activate my endpoint snap 
just click the end point of this line here and it's actually now rotated it to the angle of the line rather than me having to work out what the angle is and type that value in. So you can now use it to manipulate geometry without having to select multiple commands at the same time.